Hi folks, Sonia Ash here. Today I want to show you how easy it is to use our collage templates. This 8x10 collage is from our Subtle Focus Moments collection and it's free for you to download for the month of March by visiting our freebie page on ashdesign.com. So let's get started. You can see here that we've got two photo layers. One will go here and then we've got this photo layer which will be your, your background photo. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this photo layer and I'm going to go over to photo one. Now with my pointer tool selected I'm going to drag it up to my collage tab and then I'm going to drop it right in there. The next thing we want to do is we want to right clip, create clipping mask, and then we want to scale this. So control T on your keyboard or command T for our Mac folks. Hold down your shift key and drag in these corners and that will scale your photo proportionally. Okay, and when you like it just hit enter on your keyboard and that's all set. Now we're going to go down to our large photo for the background. I'll make sure that's selected in my layer template. Then I'm going to go over to photo 2 which I also have open. Again, with your pointer tool selected you're going to drag it up to the 8x10 tab. You're going to drop it onto your canvas and it drops right in there. Once again, we will right click, create clipping mask. And now she's taking on the properties of this layer here, at which we have set to uh, black and white. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to scale her as well. Hold down your shift key, grab a corner, and hit enter when you're done. Then you can move her around. <clears throat> to where you think the position is good. Now, if you think this is a bit too light, and I do, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to change the properties. We're going to change the properties of the photo layer, okay? So not your photo, but the photo layer, since your photo is taking on the properties of this particular layer. So the fill here is 25%. I might bring that up. You can see she's getting a little bit darker there. Maybe about 45 is good. The other thing that I'm not particularly fond of is that this is sort of getting in her hair. So what we can do is we can adjust this layer mask. And to do that, what we want to do is we want to paint more white in this area. So grab your gradient tool, which is right here. Make sure you are painting from white. We have white selected there. White to transparent. You can see right here, that's the preset you want to pick. Click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down our Shift key and we are going to drag from here to maybe about the middle. And let's see if we can go a little bit more. And you can see it's picking up a little bit more of the background photo. And then we're getting a little bit more of her hair in there. And that's actually pretty well done. So the last thing you'll want to do, if you choose, is to edit your text. And to do that, you can double click on the T and it will highlight your entire um, text box here. And to find this font, this font is called Diesel Rudolph. Um, and you can find that um, to download for free on defont.com. And that's it. That's how we do our collage templates quickly and easily.